A CBS News investigation reveals that our federal fund intended to protect flood victims often benefits private insurance companies instead. The National Flood Insurance Program run by FEMA is $25 billion in debt. In some years, up to two-thirds of the money that's supposed to help flood victims goes to private insurance companies and the attorneys they hire to fight flood claims. CBS Evening News anchor Jeff Glor is here with our CBS News investigation. Jeff, good morning. Nora, good morning. Uh, when record floods hit Louisiana in 2016, 150,000 people had damage to their homes, an estimated $15 billion in damage. Two years later, many homeowners are still struggling to rebuild and flooding the same companies and lawyers that they fund with their premiums and taxpayer dollars. You can still see some of the mud. Ricky Wall and Melissa Miles were trapped in their home for three days when flooding hit Louisiana in 2016. My beautiful home's gone. It was coming so fast. Yeah. You, you, it was white capping over the roads. Over the roads. Covered in sewer water, they thought things couldn't get worse. It was pretty tough. Heartbreaking. Their home was ruined, but they had a flood insurance policy that they were required to buy worth $176,000. The insurance company was a nightmare. Nightmare. It was uh, <laughs> almost as bad as the flood. I about had a stroke fighting with them people every day. When insurance didn't pay enough to fix their home, they had to come up with the cash themselves to do it. And so they decided to fight the National Flood Insurance Program for lowballing them. They are still fighting for $40,000. This is ridiculous that I'm paying for something that I have to fight for. Run by FEMA, the National Flood Insurance Program is responsible for all flood policies in the U.S. Insurance premiums and taxpayer dollars fund the program, about $3 billion a year. But FEMA doesn't administer all the policies. It outsources to private insurance companies called Write Your Owns, or WYOs. They and all of their agents get paid out of the same pot of money as flood victims. Some years, up to two-thirds of that pot goes to WYOs and the attorneys they hire to fight against flood victims. Come on, buddy. In effect, by paying their premiums on time every year, homeowners like Ricky and Melissa help fund the very lawyers fighting them in court. How can they sleep at night doing us what they've done? Wall's insurance company hired the Louisiana law firm of Gerald Nielsen to fight Ricky and Melissa's claim. Nielsen's firm has been fighting flood claims on behalf of insurance companies for over 30 years, not without controversy. After Superstorm Sandy, Congress criticized Nielsen's firm for how it defended WIOs, whose engineers allegedly altered reports to avoid paying claims. He dealt with Sandy victims like they were the perpetrators enriching himself at their expense. A New York judge called Nielsen's misconduct in one Sandy case remorseless for delaying cases at taxpayer expense. To give you an idea of the costs involved here, you could rent this 1965 Bentley Silver Cloud for just under $1,000 for the afternoon. Nielsen's office spent five times that to ship documents to this law office from one that is half a mile away. CBS News obtained a budget drafted in 2014 for a Sandy case showing Nielsen's firm estimated that a single case would cost 188,000 taxpayer dollars if it went to trial. The cap on any home flood policy is $250,000. Mr. Nielsen, we're with CBS News. Nielsen didn't want to talk to us about his fees and expenses. But I've got to go through ethics counsel because some of what you've asked clearly is privileged. A public information request revealed FEMA paid Nielsen's firm at least $29 million for Sandy cases alone. Things need to change. Yeah. Somebody needs to do something about it. How are you? Wall hired attorney John Hotailing. Hotailing's firm represents flood victims and fought in court against Nielsen's firm during Sandy. There was no effort to mitigate the cost. In many cases, we were asked to have experts reinspect for a third time homes that were totally destroyed. FEMA says it has no authority to fire lawyers hired by private insurance companies. They're jacking around policyholders. That's unacceptable. And somebody's got to do something about it. And by God, it's supposed to be FEMA. Senator John Kennedy has a bill to change that. Once they get that authority, I will chase them like a hound from hell until I found out, find out 
uh, that they fix this problem because I believe there is a problem. Come on, come on. Homeowners like Wall wish FEMA had tightened its belt before making him pay out of his own pocket. That's not fair. And they say that's the American way. That's not fair. Gerald Nielsen, the lawyer who defends WYO, said in a letter to CBS News he could not talk about his fees and expenses, but that he was acting at the direction of his clients and that all of his firm's bills were reviewed by clients and FEMA. FEMA did respond to our report overnight, saying it will pay every dime policyholders are due, and it's created an oversight team to address billing and other litigation matters. Jeff, thanks. Of course, the question of what's due is, is the one at issue. $30 million. $30 million one, for one, one lawyer. One attorney. Keep in mind, I mean, there's a peace of mind in knowing that you pay your insurance premiums on yeah. time and you think that if something happens, mm -hmm. that you're going to be reimbursed and everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. In many cases, it's not. That's right. When people talk about draining the swamp in Washington, this is what they're talking mm -hmm. about.